What you've seen what's happened here in Georgia with your state's laws. It's just wrong. Wrong. And it's why we have to pass the voting rights protection laws coming through the Congress. I've never been more optimistic about the future in America. So that was part of the message to Luth, Georgia yesterday. At a rally there, President Biden held a drive-in despite uh, supporting organizations like Major League Baseball boycotting that state. Just last month, he called Georgia's new voting law Jim Crow in the 21st century. A lot of disagreement on that claim. Howie Kurtz, Fox News media analyst and a host of Media Buzz. How you doing, Howie? Good morning to you. What Good called morning, to our Bill. attention was the piece that USA Today had printed a few weeks back by Stacey Abrams. Uh, the title is Corporate America Must Pick a Side in Voting Rights Prevent a Georgia Repeat. It went on to say uh, how she felt her position was. The problem is they went back and edited the piece and allowed her to change some of the arguments she was making. I'll go ahead and explain that. I'll call that out in a second here. What USA Today did in allowing Stacey Abrams to stealth edit this opinion column that she had written to modify her position on the whole all-star game controversy is outrageous. And it's hard to imagine the paper uh, allowing a prominent Republican to do the same thing. In the original piece, she's uh, enthusiastically backing uh, the calls, the criticism uh, against Major League Baseball. And then the political wind shift, she goes back, she rewrites the thing uh, to say she's against boycotts in Georgia. Uh, and nobody tells the readers that she made these changes, Bill. Okay, so here is the line. I can't argue with an individual's choice to opt for their competition. If you read the original draft, it sounds like she's trying to have it both ways. Um, from my understanding, Matt Whitlock, a Republican strategist, found it, called it out, and now it's public. But what did the paper say in their editor's note? How did they explain this? Well, the, uh, uh, the parent company, Gannett, and USA Today, of course, being one of the nation's largest newspapers, cannot defend this indefensible move. So Gannett is saying we regret the oversight and promising this will never happen again. It shouldn't have happened in the first place. Look, Stacey Abrams wants to change her position. Uh, that's fine. She can go on television. She can write another piece. But you can't go back and quietly, mm -hmm. secretly, surreptitiously change your words because, uh, again, there's a different political environment or she's trying to not appear to be uh, against Georgia businesses. But that's exactly what USA Today allowed her so to do. So USA Today said, as soon as we recognized there was no editor's note, we added it to the page the reflector changes. It, is that accurate? How does that line up with the time frame? Uh, it seems to me there was some time that went by before the editor's note was added. But even so, um, you know, you write something, this is my position. And then a newspaper says, well, you know what? It's okay. You want it. You have other things you want to say. We'll just change it. It will look to anybody who goes online and reads this piece like this was your original stance. And they got called out. That's mm. exactly what happened. They got called out. Uh, again, uh, politicians change their minds all the time. But this kind of rewriting or whitewashing of recent history, what it was your own words, uh, really just seems like uh, a remarkable thing. Line. Yeah, uh, listen, thank you, Howie, for running that down for us today. Nice to see you. Have a good Friday, okay? Thank you, Howie. You too.